In June 2018, KBU Radio will celebrate 50 years of broadcasting. As we approach this milestone, we honor our history with this reflection on the past. This is Norman Solomon, and I was involved with KBU beginning in about 1971 when it had just had a boost from its very small signal size and had a studio on Belmont Street in southeast. So pretty soon I had a, a midnight show once a week, I think on Sunday night, and then most Tuesday nights would come in for an hour of public affairs. And it was sort of a, a mix of music and interviews and that sort of thing. How was it uh, musically? It was a very free-form idea, and so I had total latitude. Nobody ever said, you can't mix uh, Tchaikovsky with the Beatles or whatever, and so I did a lot of that. And also, I was a big uh, fan at the time of Jefferson Airplane and the sort of semi-apocalyptic left-wing music of the early 1970s and late 1960s. So I would often sort of merge that together and then have people in the studio or on the phone and talk about what was happening, whether in uh, the Northwest or elsewhere in the country or the world. As a matter of fact, the Vietnam War was still happening then, and I remember at one point after coming back from the Republican National Convention, which would have been late summer 1972, taping an interview with a top editor at the Oregonian, uh, and he was, of course, as the entire Oregonian was, extremely pro-war. And so uh, I asked him and sort of argued with him on the air about that. But I got to have a lot of people come in, which was very exciting to me. You know, that sort of, uh, if not power, at least uh, capacity to draw people into the studio and ask them questions whether I agreed with them or not. And so for me, it was very explorational. I mean, I was born... 1951, so I would have been in my early 20s at that point. 